St Helier is key to the island's future, so important for everyone, especially those living in town. It deserves better. Our vision needs to be a long one, stretching ahead by at least a generation. And that vision should have two parts, the type and quality of homes and apartments we provide and the land around them, both underpinned by a quality of design that frankly has often been lacking. Our community spaces, spaces for all ages to enjoy, spaces in which to play or relax, spaces you walk through to and from work or to other parts of St Helier, must be given much more intelligent thought. It needs to start now. It need not cost the earth. What's required is care, a visual eye for what looks good and works well, and a big dollop of common sense. Andium telling us the best use of gas place is to double the size of the town park to benefit those living here now and those who will join in years to come. That's the kind of vision I'm talking about. We must make it happen. In my short time as Housing Minister, I've been working hard to find solutions to the housing crisis, getting more government sites allocated for housing and community developments, banning foreign investors, working together with developers to put first-time buyers and local owner-occupiers first in the queue before buy-to-let investors, and establishing a government shared equity fund to assist first-time buyers. We're rewriting the residential tenancy laws, and as I speak, hiring members of a new rent tribunal to make life better for those in the rental sector. I'm standing as an independent, fiercely independent. More factions and divisions won't help. We need to work together to solve this housing crisis and ensure it never happens again. Work together to shield people from cost of living rises, and finally, to get that hospital built. Thank you for watching.